Special shout out to my members and patrons Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Hushika Bay, Madlow, The Hellraiser, Harrington, Iron Beast, Jelly Beams, Yumi, Jim Bones, MDS 84ZA, Carnet 76, Balalco, and Killer Bunny 264 for your amazing support. Members and patrons get shout out on all my videos, get access to your private Discord channel and access to my Seminars Rai server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seminars Rai, War of the Walkers mod. So we are busy clearing out this PRI over here. It's almost night time, so we have to hurry. Uh, yeah, we're busy clearing out this place over here. It's getting more and more and more dangerous. So we have to be careful. We, ooh, that didn't kill them. Oof. We might actually almost be done, though. Um, so far, every floor has had, like, a, a few bookcases over here to loot. And this one doesn't. We are so full right now as well, guys. Because we've been just... We, we've been busy. <laughs> we've sell, uh, sold stuff. Um, uh, looted stuff. Explored stuff. We're, we're now actually basically exploring. Even though I should uh, probably get home and drop some stuff off. But yeah, we need to hurry like crazy right now. The NPCs, unfortunately, are stuck down below. They don't, they don't follow you into where you need to go. Six. Okay, so I'm going to floor number six right now. Come on. I have no idea how many floors there are. If my, if my NPCs could just follow me up. Ooh, there's another loot drop at the east, northeastern block. Okay, this does not bode well. Come on. This is such a massive dungeon style. They make you think it's super safe. All this lead up just for this. I have a bad, 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 bad feeling about this. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, we don't have the space for this. We don't have the space for this. Damn. This is epic! Okay, drone, can you please, please, please hold something? Um, 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 um that's not enough bullet tips. Okay, let's just do that. This is super epic. The amount of loot after all of that. Oh, now I actually drank that XP elixir because I thought, oh, we're gonna face more zombies. Um, yeah, let's just stop that one for now. I dropped enough. Yeah, it's fine. I want to go and well, the books. Technically, you know what? Let's let's scrap. No, it's, it's fine. If you know a book already, instead of scrapping it, I, I can make myself more notes and bundles and stuff. But yeah, instead of scrapping it, I'm gonna try and see if we can't go and just read them. While I'm doing this, at least it gives us a chance to just work through all the stuff we're scrapping right now. If the NPCs were just with us right now, we'd be able to drop some stuff on them. It's a shame that they're downstairs fighting and having fun. Well, I'm up, uh, stuck up here with nowhere to go, and there's so much loot. You guys know me, if I see loot like this, I need I need to have it all. I need to grab it. But now I can't, because the bloody NPCs are all downstairs. <laughs> my, my, uh, my extra storage, basically. My motorcycle's full, my drone's full, I'm full. Ooh, okay. Come on, drone. If I can get the drone cargo mod schematic right now. If my drone already had that cargo mod schematic... Um, then I wouldn't have, or rather, if I had already the uh, cargo mod on, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about storage space right now. At the moment, the drone only has two slots, two rows like these bookcases. It's supposed to have like six to eight or something. I should be able to scrap a few more things on me. Let me just see how far the scrapping has gone. Okay, yeah, that's going to take forever. Literally nothing on us. You know what, I'm actually going to go and do this. Stuff that I really don't... I'm not. I'm never going to use this thing. That is what? Frames, cube. I already have a full stack over there, so there's no point. Uh, read, read, read. Dog food. I'm going to scrap it right now. It's going to take too long. This I could have sold to the traders. I'm just going to let that uh, rot over there and then put all the stuff over here. There's no point in having all the stuff on us if we... We're not going to use it. We're never, ever, 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 ever going to use it. Okay, now the only problem that I'm facing is the fact that there's still way too much loot over here for me to grab everything. Where did that just go? 0. 0.44 ammo, I just shift clicked in here. Oh, it went to there. I wonder, how do we get back down? Do we have to go through all of the... It seems like it. Do we have to go through all the elevators again? I want... Yeah, guys, I'm going to go quickly... Uh, I'm quickly going to go down all the way. I'm going to see if I can't... Oh, no, wait. If I jump out... If I make a hole for myself, if I can quickly really interact with one of my um, NPCs and just drop some stuff on them. Oh, 
quickly gonna go there, uh, down there. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna drop some stuff in my NPCs. And they're gonna hold some stuff for me. That is an enemy. Rogue. He's still alive. Now he's not. Okay, um, yeah, we need to get back up here when we're done. I want to mark exactly where this is. Oh, I just dropped the... Oh, oh wait, where's, that, where's this? Where's the candy? Did I drop it in that box over there? I'm hoping so. I dropped the... Oh, no, candy. Um, This. Oh, shit, it's drops. You can, you can actually fall from a massive height without losing any... Or uh, breaking any bones or losing any HP or anything. Look at this. You fell like a feather. Okay, so where's all my NPCs? You guys have to come to me. Come on, NPCs. I know one of these NPCs actually still has uh, all of my resources. I'm hoping it didn't despawn yet. One of these NPCs is like full, full, full of loot over here. I think it's one of the bow ones as well. I'm hoping if it's a melee one, the melee uh, zombies get or uh, NPCs get way too close to the enemy. So you don't want to put it on those because you know they're going to end up getting hurt. Okay, so I'm just going to drop all of this stuff on there. Um, coin, I don't really want to drop on the NPCs just in case that disappears. The other loot I can always get back, but the coin, guys, we have almost like 500k coin. So I'm just going to quickly drop all of this like this and I'm going to nerd pull back up there. And yeah, then I'll catch you guys back now. Okay, so I fetched my NPCs outside. I also gave them a ton of stuff. Oh, okay, but I put a ladder over here, so zombies are going to follow me up. That's fine, though. As long as I deal with the zombies that come for us right now. They actually killed the zombie down below that dropped a legendary uh, fire axe, but we already have one. So I do not care. Okay, so now... Yeah, all my NPCs, guys, all of them are actually full of loot except one. I think one of the bow ones are, like, halfway full. That's how much loot we have just from exploring like the whole day or whatever. I'm just gonna make sure we grab everything over here. My drone also. I put all of the stuff from my drone in one of the NPCs too. Uh, but now if the NPCs die, I lose all that loot. There are some NPCs outside as you can hear. Uh, not NPCs, um, enemies. Remember guys, we have loot respawn off. That's why I don't mind destroying these. If it was like a server or something, you wouldn't want to destroy the boxes, although... I'd actually um, argue that the boxes at the back are way more worth it. Come on, give me some good loot. Oh, flares. Nice. I just really hope we can find a drone mod soon. If we can find the cargo mod itself, buy it or whatever, or loot it, or at least get the recipe. I want to be able to make my own um, mods. The amount of loot these things have is just utterly nuts. Okay, all of these on the sides are done. Let's grab this one. Now I can actually grab all the crap that I was dropping over here. <laughs> um, that's empty already. All these bookcases and everything over here is also empty. Okay, now at least next time we see one of these buildings, we know where to uh, break into. So we can sk uh, skip all the levels, although it was fun. It was basically like uh, going through a dungeon. Every level had tougher and tougher and tougher zombies, and then you just had to be creative. I used my molotovs and explosives, and when they got close enough, I used an automatic gun. That was fun. Come on. Oh, that was lucky. I just guessed that's where it's supposed to be. It's already looted. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. This is not the trader. Why am I doing that? It's noisy, but it's fast. There you go. Why am I lockpicking when I have the auger with me? That doesn't make sense. Okay, so we're just gonna grab everything. We are gonna fill up again. Yep, we are full. Uh, drone, I'm gonna drop some stuff on you. We still have to grab all the other storages and stuff here too, so that is nuts. If we can scrap the notes, we'll scrap the notes. If not, then uh, yeah, it's just uh, better to go and read them. We are not alone. With the blue notes you get, guys, you can actually go and make those into bundles and get even more notes. Okay, there's a ton of zombies coming upstairs now, guys, so go fight them, please. Please don't die from weak zombies right now. Is that a cop? So I made a ladder all the way up so the NPCs can follow me. The only problem is if the NPCs can follow you, the zombies can follow you too. 
Okay, so we are full, the NPCs are full, the drones are full. They're gonna fall down, but I wanna try and teleport them before they fall. Did he just have an auto shotgun? Guys, I wanna so badly explore the rest of this place as well, but I know if I see something awesome, I'm gonna try and do to it. One of these places even has a steel. I, I saw a steel. Uh, it's not this, right? No, no, it's not this one. There is a steel passing gas over here somewhere that I saw from a distance. I'm like, oh, I know that place has good loot. I know for a fact there's really good loot in that place. Yeah, let me just quickly finish driving through a VR and then. Yeah, I think it's this passing gas over here. It's completely made out of steel. I want to show you guys this. It's completely made out of steel, so the inside has a ton of boxes and stuff for us to loot. What's that? I've got a bad feeling about this. Mini business dude, but he's super, super fast. But you guys, this place, I, I know for a fact there's so much loot inside, I want to come back for it. Although, that's if I remember to actually come back for it. This person, guys, I, I, because I know that in, I think, War of the War, no, uh, where's UK mod? I actually want to see if I can't get close and show you guys this. You can actually see all the boxes and stuff from over here. There's a whole building of steel. Where's UK? I went to the wasteland and I fought these guys. And yeah, it was super dangerous, but also there's a lot of loot back there. There's some of these bony dudes as well. I'm hiccuping. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, except for that one building, all the others over here I have more or less seen before. There are a few that I do want to go loot because they, they look unique. I haven't seen them in a while. But yeah, all I really, really want to come back for now is that steel building. The rest of here, we've basically looted everything as far as I'm aware. Should probably go through all of these bookstores. <sighs> yeah. I need those drone mods, uh, those books. We don't have the space to loot more, but I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to go and read the books. So if you know it, uh, well, even if you don't, uh, if you know it or don't know, it doesn't matter. We'll read it. We get XP for that, anyways. If you read something you already know, you get XP. Even the stuff you don't know, you get XP. Okay, zombies or NPCs. I'm gonna need. Oh, right, storage pocket. Nice. I need to make sure that my uh, NPCs don't die because they have so much loot on them. If I'm not mistaken, if your NPC dies with loot on it, um, you lose all that loot. So it just takes one cop or one uh, uh, wandering horde of whisperers or whatever to do enough damage to the NPC to really just take it down. The problem is, ah, uh, the back room of this place, oh nice. Uh, the back room of this place, or the, the bathroom I mean to the right, actually has a final stash or a hidden stash in the roof. But now we're so full we can't afford to grab that stuff. Oh crap. Oh, it's gotten leveled up like crazy. Uh, oh, you can't read it from there for some reason. I can't even loot the zombies when they drop stuff. That's how full I am right now. The only reason I'm quickly going for this bookstore is because we need the, uh, the drone cargo mod. Please don't die. Oh, oh no. That shit, you are on fire, my lady. She could have easily died just now. Okay, so ladies, come here, please. I don't want you standing in that possible fire. For those of you who don't know, if you go into the roof over here, I've shown this a few times in the series, but for those of you that haven't seen, there's a sealed crate over here. Oh, I am so happy I came to check this. Legendary auger and some XP. Okay, we're going to scrap that. Never going to use it. That was just super, super, super worth uh, checking. I was like, nah, we don't have the space. Let me not do it. And then I just got a legendary auger. I'm hoping the legendary auger is a better quality than my current auger. It's the same quality. And because it's legendary, it does way more damage. 
That is amazing. Okay, I know there's more books and stuff at the back, but those hidden stashes, I'm going to want to loot if I go in there. There's a lot of bone dudes. Oh, hello. Are you taking my bike? You just almost broke my bike. He was destroying my bike just now, and we don't have any repair kits. If my bike breaks out here, we are stuck in this biome. Okay, I never knew they actually attack bikes. So they, they try and uh, make sure that you can't leave this area. I'm just in a park over here where they shouldn't be able to get me. I'm going to have to go and repair this gun so I can do ranged attacks. And be careful of rogues. They're the, mostly the ones that make uh, the noise out here. Okay, that's just... Okay, that's a normal NPC. That's fine. I can't believe that dro uh, rogue was actually busy breaking my bike over here. It almost stranded us so far away from the base. Now I'm wondering, should I use this gun? Because it's one shot everything. Or should I... Let me just make sure I go and do this right from the start. Uh, we just had a schematic pop in over here, but we'll see it later. Yeah, uh, this, uh, this gun one-shots most zombies. Uh, but the M60 is also just nice damage per second. Yeah, she just woke up a zombie over there. Come on, so far in the bookstores we've done, uh, we've gotten some few books we never, uh, never knew. So I'm hoping I can get so lucky again. That is Harley. This isn't funny. Okay, so that was a Harley. That is super dangerous for us. We need to be careful of that. There's so much gunfire outside. I don't know if it's... Oh, reduced jump. Wait. Reduced jump? Does that mean like you can't jump as high? Or does that just mean it's the, the impact bracing mod, but you can now fall even higher? I'm guessing it's the impact bracing mod, right? But it doesn't look like it. It doesn't seem like that's what it said just now. Hello, dude. Okay, you have a pistol and your friend over there has a, a SMG or something. If you didn't make so much noise, if you could actually put a silencer on your NPC's guns, I'd actually be contracting them. But because they make so much noise, they're just too loud. We already got this side. No, we didn't. And now we got all of this on this side, and then we move to this side. The zombies are going to fall from the roof, but as soon as they do, they're going to get shot. We are level 4, 5, 8. As it seems I never... I didn't do it from the start, but I did put my XP up to 150. So this, uh, this series and Apocalypse Now could go faster. And yeah, I'm regretting it, because even without that extra 50%, we would have still been above level 400 now. It's just that easy leveling up in this mod, especially when you, as soon as you have the XP, um, the, the advanced XP benefits. At my level, I might actually be able to get even more of them. I should probably check in my skill points right now, because at my level, I should be able to get some more. If I can invest a little bit more in those, uh, those advanced benefits, I'll be able to level up even faster. Okay, grab that. Almost sounds like a wandering horde coming past, but even if it is, we don't have to worry too much. Okay, there there might be some books upstairs, but guys, for now, I think. Oh, RPG, nice. Oh, yeah, there might be some books upstairs, but uh, yeah, I, I don't want to fight all these zombies now. Let's just go back to the base. We have gotten some schematics and stuff that we didn't know yet, so that's cool. I didn't say we didn't get the drone one yet, but I want to see if there's no skill that perhaps correlates the same. Mini penguin over there. Every time I see the penguin walk around, I'm like, ooh, look at the, the screamer. Okay, hi, okay, I'm not going to go for those right now. I'm going to go straight back to the base because we just don't have space on us right now. There's still an airdrop right there. We'll see if we can't pick up the airdrop, but I don't think it's going to be possible. Okay, my NPCs, me, okay, my vehicle's solo right now as well. I'm going to try and see if I can avoid hitting stuff as I'm driving away. That was super, I don't know if it was on purpose that the, the rogue actually went for my bike. But she was literally going to try and uh, just strand us over here. And you can see, guys, it's not like our home is just next to us. The desert is next to us, but our town is even across from these towns. 
So we would have had to run so far just to get back to the base. Because we would have had to go and grab a repair kit, come back, repair it, and then go back to the base again. That's too much back and forth. This pure eye over here... Gives me vibes of like early alphas. Why is that? It's too big. No, it can't be. It almost looked like the uh, small forge house. For those of you uh, guys that actually played this like since Alpha 9 and so, you know there was always a small house with always like a working forge and stuff in. Later it had a chance at a working forge and later they just took the forge and everything out. But it was a really cool early game POI. Uh, when, you, when you struggled to get stuff, you knew, okay cool, all I have to do is go there and I'll have everything that I need. You have a forge early game and you can just focus on making yourself a workstation and all that stuff. Okay, let's go back to the base. We have to drop all the stuff. Um, I think we should probably go to the base first and drop it because, guys, are, like I said, the NPCs are completely... Well, the one's not all the way full. So what I could do is just drop some stuff before we loot this. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I want to loot this. Uh, NPC, let's just see. Is it you that doesn't have a, a lot of stuff? No, you're full. The knife is full. Come on, pop back to me. Nope. Okay, you, show me inventory, you're not all the way full. It's a, sh it's a shame you can't shift click in. You can shift click out, you can you can R to, oh not shift click, you can, you can press R to grab everything. But you can't shift click uh, stuff inside, you can just uh, take it out. I'm not going to put any coin in there just in case something happens to you. Damn, look at all this. So much stuff, yeah lady. Don't wave your arms like that at me. I also don't like uh, taking up your time like this. I'm hoping this feature will be added soon where you don't have to drag and drop like this. Okay, and should probably also quickly go while I can. Wait, what's supposed to be over there? What is supposed to be a Oh, the M60. For a moment I was like, oh no, I, 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 lo I lost something. What, what did I lose? Okay, so we have the legendary over here. Let's just quickly mod this one out. Boom, boom, boom. And we can put, because it's legendary, we can put two more mods on there. So now it's going to help us a lot. Uh, where's the grave? I think the grave digger mod I put on one of the NPCs. But for now, that's fine. Now we have a great, 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 great auger. Guys, it, 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 took, it takes us so fast. Oh no, why are you guys going there? It takes us so fast going for all of this stuff. Oh, nice. Going for one of these loads was super, super fast. It goes so fast with the auger compared to the pick that you're like, oh, is that the last layer? Now the, uh, the legendary auger is going to do even more damage. And you can put two more mods on there so it's going to be even more damage. Even without the, the mods on, going from like a steel or HD auger, tungsten auger, to like a legendary is insane. Especially on the same level, the legendaries win every time. Or rather, I should probably check whether that is true or not. All I know is that definitely they do hold more mods, which is awesome. Which means I can also put the mother load mod on there to get in even more resources. We have the XP mod on there. That's why we gained like an insane amount of levels something. while going for all of these nodes. Um, but yeah, we can now put the mother load mod on there as well. So we're going to get even more riches from these nodes. If I take like one real life hour to go and just quickly loot all of this. Just drive this whole desert through and see if I can't just get all these nodes. Guys, we're going to have so much loot. We're going to have actually way too much loot. Don't push me into this, please. Okay, you guys can fight over there. I am gonna leave. The airdrop's right over here. Okay, so, um, yeah, guys, <laughs> guys the last three, or four, or three or four episodes, we have been winning. This whole week has been insane. The fact that the, the level cap, I think the level cap is like 500 plus or something. Because we're level 432, 472. Uh, either way, we're, we're way above 400, and yeah, I thought 300 was going to be the cap. Make sure there's no- Oh, there's another one of those buildings! I actually want to mark it on the map. I'm going to call it the dungeon. You- oh, Let's just do this so the NPCs can fight for me. You are the dungeon. I should actually call it the Matrix, <laughs> because it really felt like the scene in Matrix when Neo goes to the front doors. You go level, 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 and the top floor you can get a ton of loot. Although, before I do that one, I want to have enough uh, mod uh, drone storage to be able to do it. Or drone... yeah, drone storage mods. Drone storage. Oh man, my brain. 
<laughs> but yeah, we need way more storage on our drone before we can go, guys. Because only two layers, uh, you have to go back and forth too much. I've got a bad feeling about this. I mean, unfortunately, we have uh, quite a few stacks already uh, encumbered because of all the loot we have. We have so much cash, the cash is uh, actually a problem on us at the moment. That's like rich people problems. <laughs> tungsten axe, tungsten chainsaw. It's a tungsten perp, uh, purple or level 6 one, so that's really awesome. But now that we have the auger, the auger is still better. If I'm not mistaken, the tungsten auger is still way better than the pickaxe because it's faster. And then if it comes in terms of, uh, of uh, augers themselves, the legendary is obviously the best one. If we can get a level 6 legendary auger. Ooh, insane. Hey, let me just quickly take all the loot off of the NPCs over here. Because we really have way too much loot. Uh, let's see if I can grab some stuff, yeah. So you NPCs, uh, I'm gonna put the ladder down like this, because I need you to follow me. Oh. I need you to follow me all the way to the top so I can, uh, get your inventories clear easier. And then the drone I have to drop as well. The amount of loot I'm gonna drop right now is just utterly insane. Okay, so that took forever, but I finally managed to drop everything that needs dropping. Um... All of these are tools. Yeah, let's just make sure we've dropped them on the same or on the right side when we open them. So these are tool mods that are in the bundle. Uh, this is a ranged mod. Shotgun bundle. So that stuff goes on this side. Shotgun bundle. Weapon mods go over there. Uh, should probably see if we have full auto on our M60, but for now that's fine. Ooh, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna actually sell that sniper rifle because it's a really good one. Technically, guys, you have to mod the stuff out to be able to get the most out of them. Uh, but for now, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> we have way too much loot at the moment anyways. Okay, all of the trap stuff goes over there. This trap bundle had way more stuff in than the previous one, which confuses me. Okay, tungsten, roller bars, and then major tune-up. I want to see if we can put both on our motorcycle or not. Guys, the drone's empty, the vehicle's empty, the NPCs are empty. Uh, what's this? Small weapons. Okay, uh, let's just put the small weapons away while we add it. See, as we see what it is, I can actually sell it. As we see what the stuff is, then we can just go from there. Uh, we just need one of those. Just need one of these. Doesn't have to be even the best quality. I just want to be able to sell most of them to the traders. See, this way we can actually go and get the most cash out of it. We just want to place all this one's almost broken, so it's not going to sell for as much. Um, that one's going to sell for more. For more. I'm literally just making sure we have one of each item in there left, so it's easier to drop stuff later. Probably should check which one of these is better. Because damage is higher. Wait, why is it so much higher? I'm guessing this one has some kind of ammo in it. Okay, if I compare this, but this is a crappy one. Um. Hmm. This one's damage goes down, but everything else is high. So I wonder if this one has some had some ammo in it that made it uh, makes it kind of special or something. Uh, they should be more or less the same level. That's why I'm so curious. Let's see, sniper rifles. We just need a few. We're not gonna be able to sell all the stuff. We're gonna come back to the base anyways. But for now, I wanna sell as much as possible. And all the weak stuff, yeah, but there's no reason for us to keep all this stuff. Okay. Okay, now nah, I should probably just first done this before I did that. Okay, all of this is health. But why is armor under... Oh, health and armor. I was about to say, why is armor under that? Okay, and then last one is... Holding supplies. Oh, wow. USB stick, we can sell that one. The tools all go under these boxes here and here. See, we have so many tools, we can actually go and sell them as well. Let me just see, which ones... Okay, that's a tungsten, that's a tungsten. But we'll keep the best ones and the rest we'll sell. Although it doesn't matter which one you sell, as long as you have one of each item in there. Legendary, legendary... Legendary nail gun and HD nail gun. Okay, do that. Keep one of each so it's easier to... Guys, you just want to make sure later when you're sorting, it's easier. So you always keep one of one item... Each of... Yeah. You keep, one, you keep one item of each thing in there. Or one of each item. There you go. I should probably also repair this because this took some serious damage. Um, I want to see whether these fit inside. That is a minor tune-up. So now it's a major. Nice. Okay, now it's going to be a little bit better. When we come back to the base, we should probably just also go and repair it. Um, and make sure it's full, repair it, make sure it's ready for the next episode. 
If we wanted to buy a house, we could buy a house now. That's how much cash we have. Okay, NPCs. No, please don't run away. Stay where standing. I think there's also a button where you can tell them to stay where they're standing as well. So it's just easier, instead of having to do that, you can tell them to follow and stand stuff. Um, now. Let me just see over here. I'm gonna sell everything I have on me. We're gonna take Grandpa's awesome sauce. Uh, first things first, we're gonna get three rewards over here, so we can sell these two. Oh, we can take four re- for some reason we can take four rewards already. There is gonna be a time where we can take five rewards, uh, oh, then, because there, there's an option for four rewards that we haven't unlocked yet. Melee mods, ranged mods, 4x4. <laughs> Damn. Get a special job as well. Okay, so we'll just do that, and then we'll go and sell everything. Technically, guys, it would have been way better if we had first gone and repaired everything. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter that much. All the food we'll sell. Okay, yeah, one of the food spoiled just now. Do that. He doesn't want that. How much cash are we going to have after this excursion of ours? Oh, did I just press something? Ah, oh, I see it already had some uh, ammo in it. But that's its default ammo, so why did that make it so much stronger than the other one that's also basically default ammo? All of them are supposed to be default ammo, aren't they? Now this is 4x4 parts, we already have a 4x4 though, so we can sell those, and mods, and range mods. It must be my lucky day. Okay, rad remover, steel axe we can sell, steel helmet we can sell, TNT we can sell, because I'm never going to use a TNT. It's going to destroy too much. It's going to destroy more than it fixes. We have a 4x4 already. We're going to keep the wheels though. Full auto I'll keep, sell, sell. Come on. For some reason it doesn't always want to sell the stack, even though I'm shift clicking. As we are so rich right now. I think before... Um, before we go and uh, buy stuff, let's just also make sure we get everything over here that we need. The fact that I can take four rewards really con uh, confuses me right now. I haven't unlocked that skill yet that allows us to get four rewards. If we look over here, um, no, benefits. Daring Adventurer. No, it's not. Uh, this is advanced daring adventure. You can now choose four rewards. So now I'm gonna be uh, able to choose five rewards. I think. Let me just make sure. Because even before that, I was able to just get four rewards each. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. What's that bonus? Is it because of the glasses? I'm wearing lucky looter goggles. Is that the uh, the reason? That can't be the reason, right? I can't see how wearing lucky looter goggles will actually allow us to do that. XP cards. Yes, the more of this we have, the better. We can go 20 minutes full of Thanks XP. Me take care of you. Although, guys, we are going to reach, I think, level 500 is level cap. We're going to reach it soon. Because we're leveling up way, 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 way too fast. Okay, now we just choose all the rewards they give us. Our problem is going to be if they don't show us all the rewards. If they only show four, then you, you can't uh, close that window because you have to accept five. Okay, we have so much cash right now. I'm going to buy all the tungsten plates I can have. Um, let's see. Concrete. All the resources we might need. Rebar. I think you don't... We're going to skip straight to tungsten, so there's no point in uh, grabbing the rebar right now. But I'm going to grab some concrete mix and stuff like that. Pleasure doing business with, with you too, my friend. With you too. Okay, uh, do you have any buried supplies? Yeah, We're tier 5. Fantastic. Hope Damn. See you soon. Okay, August schematic. I can't believe we don't have the August schematic yet. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Okay, job from you. Buried supplies. Thank you. Thank you. Now with the legendary org, I'll be able to mine so fast, but I'm going to have massive hordes of zombies on me. Okay, uh, jobs, buried supplies. No matter what. I'm I love it when they all have buried supplies. Days, I've got a job. You're the got a job for you. You're the man. Okay, and more buried supplies. No matter what, I'm grateful for everything you've done. Oh shucks. <laughs> rebar, tungsten. Tungsten helper, that's the one you have to upgrade with the rebar. Uh, let's see what else I can get. If I can buy a vehicle repair kit, although I already have one. Legendary pickaxe, 132,000. Obviously, if you were to go, I'm actually going to buy two crucibles. If you were to go and sell it, you wouldn't get that much, but you have to sell, you have to buy it for much more. Okay, 20 gauge. I'm actually thinking of only using the M60 from now on. It goes through ammo a lot faster as well, so I need to be careful of that. 
Uh, resources and building supplies are all under this, right? It's been a real pleasure. You watch yourself out there. You watch yourself out there. I always say the same thing over and over and over. Uh, speaking of, I was looking at like uh, TBF's TFB. I keep forgetting uh, the order of his name. Huh? But I was watching his videos and um, I, I noticed that Jen told him that the, the zombie dog is going to bite his ass. And that's the first time I've ever heard her say that. She might have said it before. But the first time I actually noticed that she said something like that. I was like, what? Usually she's not like that. Usually she, uh, she's just all flirty and stuff. Um, and she's almost never rude to me. And then I, that's the first time I actually heard something like that. So I was like, what? How? Great doing business with you. Yeah, need Come assistance. Back tell Come back, tell your friends. Okay, so let's go over here first. We don't know that one. Probably check all of them every now and then for some schematics. I really need to get the uh, the drone mod, the cargo mod. Unfortunately, we don't have the schematic. It's only uh, accessible, I think, under schematics. Ooh, let me just buy some of this stuff. Especially that, uh, that uh, what's he, this thing called? Screw gun. I didn't know what that was. Now we can actually put it on... Uh, I know there's one of my stations that need this, but I couldn't figure out what that tool was called. Armor smithing station. Thank you. Although I think we already had one, so that might have been a waste. Although we have the cash, so we can just as well, right? Okay, do this. I've noticed they're not selling any more Molotovs. It's like the game knows, oh, last Horde Night was way too easy with all your Molotovs. Let's just reduce that a bit. Safe okay, and then it's not under technician. I think it's on the other side. The side of here that it is more resources. Oh, we also have our workstations by us, our, our vending machines. I keep forgetting we also have vending machines. Okay, we don't need anything else as far as I'm aware, so let's go. See, we can press a button and tell them all to follow you again. I know there are buttons to stop them from going after zombies. You can craft buttons. Uh, let's show you guys this. So, NPC action. NPC. You can ask them for help, ask them, well, I don't know what this mode is, and stop. So if they're attacking something you don't want them to, press stop. If you need help with you, you press this and they can help you. Uh, but yeah, the, I, I wish there was I don't know, a way to tell them to just stand where you're standing with a button. And then follow you with, with a button. But I think these buttons only work when they're already busy following you. And I ran out of fuel. Look at this. Almost at the base. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> the vehicle only has 145 out of, one, out of 5000 HP left. Which is I was super, super close to just breaking down completely. I'm also gonna have to take that ladder up. There's, uh, the NPCs, for some reason, don't climb the ladder. But the zombies, uh, they love ladders, so I need to take that up before they go for it. Okay, and then I'm also gonna go and put all my coin over here. Oh, now we finally have some storage space over here. And the rest of the stuff we actually have to put away is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just realized. Yeah, I already had a stop button in that box over there. Let me just first see what we can buy over here before we put stuff away. Bum, 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 nothing. I should probably make sure we have some lockpicks on us. In case we come across more traders where we can't break it, but we need to open it. Okay, some of these we might actually need, like, more uh, forge stuff. Oh, we don't know this one yet. Don't know that one yet. I'm really hoping we get stuff that we really, 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 really need from these vending machines. The whole point of these vending machines is if you want something, you need something, check here. You might get it here, like electrical parts and all that stuff. Uh, for now, we're just going to put everything away then. Oh, I'm way over time. I'm going to put everything away, and I'll see you guys next time. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.